In this video, we're going to talk about how to add reaction kinetics to the oil ice stream analyzers. But first, we need to talk about the actual kinetics we're going to use. So we're going to start off with a basic reaction mechanism that we use in our standard OLI tips. You can download this from our support website. But here is the reaction we're going to use. This is the uh, combination of ammonia and CO2 to form urea plus water. This is all in the aqueous phase. And there is a kinetic mechanism. This is what has been published in the literature. The rate is the forward rate constant times the concentration of ammonia squared times the concentration of carbon dioxide minus the decomposition of urea. And it is a first order reaction in the decomposition of urea. So the water is not partaking in this equation. Or it probably is a pseudo first order uh, reverse reaction. We have to translate this into some standard OLI equations. The forward rate constant is 2000. The K equation can be defined as the Arrhenius factor times the exponential of the energy of activation divided by gas constant times temperature. And the reverse rate is defined as this. This is from the literature. The A reverse is the 1.2 e to the minus 6. We define a BR, which is the minus energy of activation over R. Uh, this is a shorthand term, so we don't have to type as much into the model generator. And that is translated to 3840. And we're going to turn off the exponent of the product, water in this case, its reaction coefficient is 0 in the mechanism. So we need to put all of these values into the stream analyzer, which we'll show you next. Okay, we've started OLI Studio version 9, the first version where reaction kinetics are available. And we've created a, st a standard stream here. It's 25 degrees and one atmosphere, uh, 100 moles total. That makes our compositions here essentially uh, mole percent. And we've just added a single point isothermal calculation under here. We've zeroed out our urea here to show you that this particular case has no reaction kinetics. So we'll go ahead and press calculate here and we'll now check the report and there's our input and if we look at the true species composition you'll see that there is no urea in the output. This is just to confirm that reactions between carbon dioxide and ammonia have not taken place. So under stream uh, we'll create a new stream also isothermal but we now need to enable reaction kinetics. To do that we click the chemistry button model options menu, phases tab, and we check the reaction uh, kinetics button here. We click apply and what happens now is we get two additional calculation parameters. To actually enter the kinetics we need to click the specs button and the kinetics tagline. Now this screen has very little error checking so if you make a mistake here we may not find it until runtime. But we're going to ahead and click add well, we have here the standard equilibrium equations that occur in the model, but we don't want any of these. We're going to create a new reaction, and there is the reaction. It's an editable field, so we'll get rid of that. And we'll write in the equation that we had before. There was two ammonias. Now we have to add the AQ because that's an OLI <coughs> solver requirement, plus CO2 aqueous. Okay, must be capitalized. And that equals urea aqueous plus water. Once that's been added, we now can specify the type of reaction that is. Conversions, specialized, or standard type equations. Uh, these are the same types of equations available in ESP, and you can check the ESP manual for that. We're going to check standard Arrhenius kinetics. We now need to add the constants. You can pick from a list. And if you remember, we had a K forward, KF, to be specified, and that's at 2000. We now also need to specify the Arrhenius constant for the reverse reaction, AR, and that was 1.2 e to the minus 0 0.6. And now we need to add the energy of activation over. R term, which is called BR. Now you notice that the terms already selected are grayed out, so you can't reselect them. 
So here's BR, and that is 3840.777. And finally, we need to turn off the exponent for the reverse reaction for water, since it doesn't partake in the equation. That's EP2, and that becomes 0. Click Apply to that. Everything's ready. Now we're going to give it a hold up time of 100 hours and 10 reaction steps. We'll go ahead and save that before we go. Always a good idea. Uh, we're going to zero out the urea here. We don't want any to be made initially. And we'll click calculate. It ran. And now we'll look at the report. We have no urea on the input, but we do get urea on the output. So this is the reaction. Uh, after 100 hours reaction with 10 increments, you can make that value a little bit more precise. This is 5.38, 10 to the minus 6 moles. So we'll just go ahead and decrease the uh, step size to 1. That makes it 1 hour. And we'll run it. It runs very quickly. And we'll see if there's any finer resolution here. And you can see that this actually has no urea. It's completely uh, unreacted, and everything's been turned into carbamate here. We can then go the other way and give it, that's 100 hours, rather, a step. Or we can go to 100 steps, where we have a hold-up time of uh, literally one hour per step, and run it. And you see we have a lot more urea. So the reaction time step uh, lets you give you how much reaction is taking place on every interval. And you can play with that to get the desired results. Okay, that concludes this tutorial.